In this video, we are going to show you how to create a new application using our Vonage Video Node SDK and Browser Client SDK. This demo will create a bare bones video chat room, much like our basic video sample demo, but it's intended for you to see how a brand new application can be created from scratch. For this demo, you will need a Vonage developer account, at least Node.js 16 already installed, and a relatively modern browser like Chrome, Safari, or Firefox. If you do not have a developer account, you can visit developer.vonish.com and click on the Sign Up for Free button in the upper right-hand corner of the page. This sample code is based on our learning Node.js backend server, but gives you an overview of writing code from scratch using our Node.js SDK, as well as setting up a basic HTML template using our browser SDK. Let's start off by creating a new NPM project. We will need a few packages to go ahead and install that we will use in our application. We will use our Vonage, server SD, our Vonage Video SDK, Express to handle generating the web page, Twig for templating, and .env for pulling in some configuration. The next thing we'll need to do is set up some of our configuration for our application. Here we have set up two environment variables, the Vonage application ID and our Vonage private key path. The Vonage application ID can be found on your Vonage applications dashboard, and I've already pre-downloaded the private key and put it in this path. The SDK will read this path and automatically import your private key. Now let's go ahead and create a new file and get our application started. First, we pull in the dependencies for our application. We have our Vonage Video SDK, which I've renamed to Vonage Video, Express for handling, building, and running the website, .m for pulling in our configuration, as well as path, which we'll use here in a moment. The first thing we'll need to do is set up a new Vonage Video uh, SDK. Here, we do a const Vonage equals new Vonage Video, and we pass in our application ID and our private key. Since we've set these up with .env in our .env file, we can pull these in through process.env and it'll automatically be pushed into the SDK. The next thing we'll want to do is set up Express. Now for this we're going to use just one single route, so it's fairly easy to set up, but we will be using it anyway. So here we'll have const app equals new Express. We will set a views directory to pull our HTML page from, and we're going to tell Express that we're using Twig as our rendering engine. And for now, we're going to go ahead and just set up a basic route on forward slash, and that will just return hello. And we can set up a listen command. So now if we visit localhost 3000, we should get hello. Now this doesn't get us any video information, so let's go ahead and set up the back end part of the video. For this basic demo, we are going to just store the actual session so that anybody that comes to the site will be joined to the same room. So to start off, we're just going to set session to null. Then whenever someone visits the page, the very first time, we will go ahead and call session, which will create a brand new video session. Then we will use the node SDK to create a client side token. This will generate a JWT token for us that each of the users can use to connect. And then finally, we will go ahead and render our index page. Now, to actually call the client SDK, we will need an application ID, a session ID, and a token. So from there, we pull in the application ID from our environment again. We pull in the session ID from the session that we've already created, and then we pass in the brand new token that we've created. The next thing we'll need to do is actually have an HTML page for the user to visit. So let's go ahead and make a new folder called views, and create a new file called index.twig. And in here, we're gonna paste in some HTML, for the most part, this is exactly the same HTML that you would find in our getting started guide on the developer dashboard, uh, but we've gone through and we've set this up specifically for the demo. Here you can see that you can pull in the latest version of our Vonage video client. So we're just going to pull that in as a script tag. We're going to have a very basic interface with two divs, one for the uh, subscriber and one for the publisher. This will be the small video preview for yourself, as well as a larger video preview of anybody else inside the 
demo itself. And here we pass in our three bits of information. So we need an application ID, which we pass in through application ID. For Twig, you just surround them in double curly brackets to pass in a variable, as well as our session ID and our token. The rest of this is fairly standard Vonage Video client SDK. We're gonna set up a error handler just in case anything goes wrong. It'll alert that out to the console. And then we're gonna go through and create an initialize section method. This will go through and initialize our session. It takes our application ID and session ID from before, and it will set up a new publisher window. So when uh, we create the publisher, it's gonna go ahead and append it to our publisher div up here at the top. Then we're gonna go ahead and create uh, connect to the session. So once we call session.publish, it will take and push us into the publisher that we created up here. And then session on stream create will wait for any new incoming streams to be created. And these will append them to the subscriber div that we have set up. So these will be the, that'll be the larger video screen. And then we will call initialize setup or initialize session to get that running. So now let's go ahead and restart our server. So now, if we go ahead and refresh our screen, it'll ask us for uh, access to our webcam, which I've already given my browser, as well as our microphone. And so here we can see myself in the small little preview window. Now we don't have anybody else connected, so there's nothing in the larger window. Let's go ahead and copy that. If you are using this on a local desktop, make sure that either you have muted your browser or that you have are wearing a set of headphones because uh, we're gonna open two windows and this can create some feedback. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and paste this in and we'll give myself access to this. And now you should be able to see both myself on the preview window, as well as the larger window. If I pop back here, and let me go ahead and mute both those tabs, uh, we can switch between these two tabs, and while it doesn't actually change because we're using the same camera, we actually have two people assigned to this video session, and everything is working. If you have any questions about the Vonage Video API, feel free to check out our documentation at developer.vonage.com forward slash video. There you can find out more information about the Vonage Video API itself, the REST API, and both our server SDKs and our client SDKs.